this is Julianne. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. So a few days ago, Catherine was over and we did four holes. We did two with moss and two with cocoa coir and they came out really good. It was really nice to have her over to be another set of hands. It is easier if you watch that video. At the time when we were filming, because we did that come with me 45 miles out of Santa Monica, by the time we set up for the DIY, it was 6 p.m. It was dark, so I couldn't film it on the Tiffany Blue table. So we did it outside in front of my house on the ground. And by the time we were done with the fort pole, it was dark. So I haven't edited that video yet, but hopefully uh, it turned out well. And hopefully you guys enjoy seeing Catherine and I work together. We did four pretty quick. I want to say within the hour we were able to do this. So I want to share with you what they look like and they are absolutely amazing. I use the wood method instead of PVC pipe and you can pretty much use whatever you want as far as for staking your plant. I did two methods with two different products so I really enjoy doing both. So with the moss, I use the clear bird fencing with it so I really like that a lot and then I use the fishing line to wrap over that. And then with the cocoa coir, I did copper wiring with that and everything turned out great. My goal for today's video is to finish up the rest of the poles that I got before I stake up my plants in a whole separate video. So I have five poles left. So I wanted to go ahead and do this project by myself and also share with you on the channel how it's done if you're alone, um, how, you, how you're still able to make the poles even if you're by yourself. So I have my moss here, I have my cocoa coir here. I think I'm gonna do the moss first and then we'll do the cocoa coir after. I'm gonna speed up this process, but I wanted to share with you uh, how I do it by myself to inspire you that with or without a plant friend, you can still do this project. So I'm gonna change the point of view, speed up the process, and then we'll talk about it at the end.
so I just did five poles that I really wanted to get done today so that I can go ahead and stake up all of my plants or at least some of them that need to be staked up before I go to Las Vegas in a couple of days. So I have all of the poles here including the four that Catherine and I did and let's do a side-by-side -side comparison because as you can see you have to tuck and roll and do everything yourself when you're uh, alone and don't have somebody to help you so this is the one that Catherine and I did and then here is mine that I did next side by side for comparison so it was kind of a struggle but I did it and I mean for doing it by myself compared with a plot friend pretty good it looks it looks doable I mean I'm gonna use it and let's see here so I did a bigger stake which I didn't do for Catherine and I when we did it but here is a comparison of the round wooden dowel next to this one so I did make mine a little bit thicker because it is a longer pole so it's gonna be for a bigger plant so I figured go a little bit thicker with the product so here is the one Catherine and I did and here's the one I did by myself so it looks pretty good and if you watch the video I added on extra uh, product at the end because when I was doing it I was like oh I wanted it more covered so you can go ahead and do that too if you cut your product short while you're working so that's that and then let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of mine versus me and Catherine so I did go a little bit thicker so I used more product with mine that I did by myself and it's not as even um, but it's still doable obviously I did the best I could and then here's the one that Catherine and I did so as you can see how having another person help you can really get the product really tight versus when you're doing it by yourself but I mean it's still it's still doable I'm not gonna get mad at myself and then here is Catherine and I we did one with the flat stake wooden stake and then here's the one that I did by myself so side by side comparison not gonna get mad again I could make it probably tighter and neater if I had an extra set of hands and then I also did a longer stake with the coco coir so here they are my two longest stakes side by side and I did all of these by myself so um, you know I'm pretty happy with my results I mean I didn't know when I was gonna have another plant friend over to help me so these are all of the five poles that I did today by myself and I'm not mad um, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you on the next planting with Julin how I'm going to be styling plants using these DIY moss poles all of the products that I did use for this DIY um, minus the wooden uh, dowels and stakes is on my Amazon store and my affiliated link is in my description box down below so go ahead and check it out I love being able to do coco coir and spag moss I like both products I know a lot of people don't like the spagno moss I, I, I like both they're both great and I wanted to share with you that you can use other things besides PVC pipe I don't like using plastic as much I know like the netting is plastic and the fishing line is plastic but I wanted to go with the wood method and you can also go ahead and spray the wood down with waterproof treatment which is the Thompson's brand that I use that's also another preventative for your wood so I hope you guys enjoyed this video sound off in the comments down below if you do your own moss poles or coco coir poles what products do you use um, what is the tallest stake you've done so far this is the tallest ones that I've done and I look forward to see who's going to be using them. If you can see, I don't know, George, he just has a big wooden doll that I think is maybe this size or longer and it's naked. But he's so big and he's doing good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this casual DIY. I wanted to share with you what it's like to do it by yourself versus doing it with a plant friend and I wanted to get these done today so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me I hope you guys enjoyed this casual DIY and stay tuned 
for more DIYs in the future. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to do this um, along with cleaning my plants once a month. I know I did that a weekly series with my grandma where I was cleaning my plants and that was a way for me to also spend time with my grandma and keep up with my plant care because your plants do need maintenance and upkeep. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to make these poles once a month to inspire you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe, support the channel, leave a thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I look forward to sharing with you almost 600 videos on the channel. So I can't believe it. Daily uploads is not easy, but I love inspiring you each and every day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.